Hello, my name is John Jennings. I'm co-founder and, uh, and co-organizer of this event here at the Schomburg. Uh, today, we're basically focusing on black subjectivity, uh, black creativity, um, and all kinds of empowerment that you can find in the, in the pages of these comic books. I think today we have about 27 or so vendors. Uh, it's been a really exciting uh, time. We have some great panels. Uh, we're doing some awards, and uh, it's been really exciting. This is our third year. Um, it was originally founded by um, Jonathan Gales, uh, Deirdre Holman here who works at the, at the Schomburg, Jerry Kraft and myself. We kind of pooled our resources a couple years ago and decided to kind of like, instead of piecemealing things, put together like this, this experience. And then since then it's been growing. So um, that's how it happened. We just kind of pooled our resources and tried to put together a really great experience for the kids, for the family, and for our people here at, this, at the historic Schomburg. We're going to probably be sending out um, things through Eventbrite like we did this particular uh, year. Stay in touch with Deirdre and follow the center on Facebook and Twitter. And that's a good way to stay in touch with it. This, uh, this is uh, Kid Code Channel Zero, which is created by myself, Damian Duffy, and, and Stavi uh, excuse me, Stacey Robinson. Um, also, uh, Stacey and I are also known as Black Kirby. So basically, it's about a hip-hop time traveler who's trying to, uh, to basically uh, reconstitute the original universe. So basically, the idea is that uh, the God MC speaks the universe into existence. And then these DJs, these evil DJs, remix the universe to an evil version of it. And so these knights are kind of time traveling to reconstitute the original universe. So yeah, and, and they're, they're basically it's a time travel uh, 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 piece. So basically it's like um, Doctor Who meets Green Lantern meets like Africa Bambata. <laughs> so there's a lot of hip hop, there's a lot of social commentary about it. But yeah, that's, so that's this particular comic. This is uh, my pet project actually, it's called Blue Hand Mojo. The premise is this gentleman right here is uh, his name is Frank Half Dead Johnson, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with the uh, um, the legend of Robert Johnson. Supposedly he's he sold his soul at the crossroads for for virtuosity at playing the, the blues guitar. Uh, he's a Mississippi artist. So basically, um, this guy is the fictitious cousin of of uh, of, of um, Robert Johnson. His name is Frank Johnson, and so basically he he sells his soul for revenge because basically his his family is is uh, is lynched. And he actually sells his soul to get this uh, power as a conjure man. And then eventually he moves to Chicago. So it's almost like Constantine meets like Easy Rollins. It's set in the 1930s during like the Prohibition era. This is the preview copy of like a longer story. But it's going to be three separate stories collected together in one trade paperback due out next year, next spring. Like 2000, 2016. Again, I want to shout out the co-founders, uh, Deirdre Holman. Uh, Jerry Kraft and Jonathan Gales. I want to shout out my publisher Bill Campbell. I want to pull out. I want to shout out my wife Tawana Jennings. I also want to shout out. Uh, da oh, did I say Damian Duffy already? <laughs> and uh, and Stacy Robinson. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, yeah. And you for doing this. Appreciate it. Again, my name is John Jennings. We are at the Sh historic Schomburg at the Black Comic Book Festival. Um, and thank. Please go to uh, sugarcane.com. And I guess that's a wrap. <laughs> Back to you, Billy, of course. One of these days I'm gonna find out who that is. <laughs> <You know? laughs>